Hey YouTube family, hope everybody is doing really good. Today I have something kind of special, not super special, but kind of special. I am doing a review of 18 different drugstore blushes that I have and letting you know which ones I actually loved, which ones I thought weren't great, which ones I would pass on completely, and then you can decide for yourself from this video which ones you might like to pick up. I only have one color usually of each of these blushes. So I'm going to show you what I have, what I picked up, what I'm really liking, and we're going to talk all about that. So if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you here as a part of our YouTube family. It's growing so quickly and I appreciate all of your support. So please subscribe if you wouldn't mind and hit the little bell icon. Don't forget to do that because you will be notified of any future videos that I am uploading. And I do upload skincare, makeup, and beauty videos on Mondays, Thursdays and Saturdays between 4 and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please give this video a thumbs up so that it can get out there in YouTube land and everybody can hear about it. I really appreciate that. It does help me a lot. Let's get into the blushes. Okay, the first one that I'm going to talk to you about is Morphe. Morphe has brought a lot of their products into Ulta and it's really nice to be able to find these products. This is their Cool Blush Palette. I really like this palette, you guys. It does have a bronzer color right here, and then it has really darker colors. It has some really pale, lighter colors. So you're kind of going across the gamut of whether you're um, deeper skinned or whether you're lighter skinned, you're gonna be able to get some use, use out of that. But now I use these over here, even though my skin is much lighter, because I use them just a very soft touch and a very light stippling brush. And I just really love this formula. To me, I stick my hand in here. The matte ones are really creamy. They're really beautiful. I do like the shimmers really well. They do perform really well, but I gravitate towards those ones that aren't, that don't have any shimmer in them. They're the matte ones, but I always have gravitated towards a matte formula anyway. This one is their blush trio, and this one is called Pop of Pink. Now the difference in that one is this one does have a mirror, so it's a little bit better if you wanna throw that in your purse. This one does have three colors in it. Two of the colors are matte, and one of the colors are shimmer. So those are right there for you guys. I really like this one. I like this color that it had over here, this mauve color, and you think that it would be kind of make you look a little bit sick or something because it does look like it has a little bit of gray in it, but it is really a nice, cool tone blush palette. Moving on to the blush palette that I just picked up not very long ago from Profusion. This one is really nice too. And again, we get into the darker colors over here, and then we have some lighter colors with some shimmers over here. The only one that I probably wouldn't like gravitate towards is this bright, bright pink. But the formula itself is really nice as well. I, I love the softness of these blushes. They're really, um, buttery, easy to blend. You really don't need a lot. It does take just a little bit to go a long ways. And you can use these if you want to, like you can use them almost in like a contouring style fashion. You can do that with any palette that you get where you use just a little bit of the deeper blush down here really lightly, and then a lighter blush on top where it would give you a little bit of the contour type blushing that you might really like. So this one might be for you. This one was probably the less, least expensive one of all the ones I bought because it was only $5 for that big palette. So that was good. And if you've been looking for something where you wanna try out a bunch of different colors that might be for you too. This one from e.l.f. This is their four color palette and this was their lighter version. And I don't mind this one except for the colors are just too stark for me as blushes. I like my blushes to be just a little bit more muted and these definitely aren't muted colors at all. They're actually quite stark. Even the one that looks a little bit tan, it's almost like, um, like an orange color really. And so for me, this one was a pass for me even though the value was great, $6 for this one. The value was great and the formula was good as well. It just wasn't for me for my coloring. Um, but you might really like this and you might like it in the in the dark one if you are darker skin tone too. Like I said, the formula was good, but the colors just kind of turned me off. But one from e.l.f. that I do really like is their single one and this is called uh, Twinkle Pink. And even though this looks very unassuming in the pan right there, when you get that one on your cheeks, it just is so pretty and so nice. This one does have a teeny tiny mirror right there which I think is kind of silly, but that's just me. The packaging is plastic. I do like that about it. This one has just a tiny bit of sheen to it. It's not 
like a bright sheen. It's more like a very satiny sheen. So it's a really pretty blush on the cheeks. I really have enjoyed that one. I think that's my second one that I've ever purchased. I've had that for years. This one is newer to me. This is the Maxi Blush from Rimmel London. And this one is, let's see, third base. I think this is their first color. It's kind of along the lines of a peachy pink. It's quite pretty. It is, again, very buildable. So if you kept building on it, you would get a really pretty color out of it. They do have some very pretty colors in this one. This one was probably their most pink one, but it, this is definitely a cross between peach and pink. I know that's not coming across on the camera very well. It is a matte blush. There is no sheen in this at all. I've really enjoyed this. You stick your finger in here and you have that creamy softness to the powder. So I have really enjoyed that one as well and can recommend that one. Now I'm going to put these two blushes together. This one is from Milani and don't don't think that this is the right size. I got this as a little perk one time when I ordered from their website. This is just a mini of their rose blushes. And then this one is the Flower Pot in Sweet Pea. And this one's color is Romantic Rose. So this one is Milani and this one is Flower Beauty. So both of these, I would say when I stick my finger in both of these, the texture is very similar. Although I do think that the Milani is a little bit smoother. Their textures are so, so close. They are very matte. Both of them are very matte there they are right there very light too you can build these up a little bit but these are probably more for a lighter skin gal but they have tons of colors that you could go to the formula is really good on this and like i said it's very matte this one these two right here are probably a little bit more powdery than some people like you know when you have aging skin sometimes the creamier the formula the better because it doesn't show up any texture or any wrinkles or anything like that so these two even though i really do like them as blushes and i use them often i would say that these are more on the powdery side than the others now you guys know how much i love juvia's place this is the saharan blush volume two there is the artwork on it and then inside the other artwork and then right here is the blushes. This one is a lot less bright and intense than the original one, the first one that they put out. If you're darker skinned, these are gonna be so gorgeous for you. Medium to dark skin, it just, they can't be beat. You know, Juvia's Place was created by women of color for women of color. I love this line because of that. They are not afraid to step out and use a bunch of color and just rock it. I think that their blush formula was no joke either. Now I have swatched the other one in Ulta and I did like it a lot, but the colors were just much too saturated for my fair, fair skin. So this one is a definite yes. If you have been thinking about this and yet you're wondering whether or not you should do it, I love this. This color right here, which is a, a blush topper, is so gorgeous on it. It's that one right there in the middle. This plum one right here is amazing. This is so gorgeous. And then you also have like the bronzy color in here. So these are so pretty. You have a mixture of mattes and shimmers. I think you get two shimmers in here and you get four mattes. I think that what they did there with these colors is something very special. So I can recommend that one to you. The next one is from Essence. This is their Satin Touch Blush. This one is called Satin Love and it, it does say that it's a satin blush, but for me, it doesn't have any sheen whatsoever. It's just a very soft blush and it's a very soft wash of color. This one reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. one that I love so much. They're both really comparable and really very much the same. If you're looking for a very inexpensive blush, but one that's very pretty, I would recommend that one. This one is from J Cat Beauty. This is Love Struck. And this one's color, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on for this. This one's color is, this one is Sweet Pea pink and this one I, I love the design of this one and I don't know if it's going to catch it because I've been using it so much but it's a cat on top of there so you got the cat that is a little bit of a shimmer more than the rest of the blush but when I swirl these together this is definitely a blush topper I would say because it has a ton of sheen to it. It really does have a lot of sheen to it, but it is a pretty blush. I think that I would like this maybe in another color where the two colors were a little bit more stark in the way they looked from each other. But yeah, that one is very much a shimmery blush if you're looking for something like that. And then the next one is also a very shimmery, shimmery blush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. This is their floral blush. And this one is in the color Fiji Fun. This is really a fun blush because it has 
has the two different colors right there. But again, this is a very high shine blush. It does, when I first run my finger across, I'm like, oh, this is gonna have like chunks of sparkle in it. It does have a tiny, tiny bit of, of reflex in it, but nothing when I got it on my cheeks that I was like, oh, that's too much. So I did like it. It is a little bit more of a harder pressed version. I shouldn't say harder. That's not the word that I'm looking for. It's a little bit stiffer than the rest of the blushes that I've shown you today. So where there is a softer formula, this one is a little bit more on the stiff side. If that makes sense, hopefully it does. And I do like their little packaging on here. It does have a little mirror in it and it's pretty, you know, cute little packaging on that one. So that one, I liked the color on very much. I thought the color on that one was really, really pretty. And then the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blushes. This one is C5 and C6. So this one also has a very satin color to it. It's not, it's not a sheen at all. It's very, um, very much just feels very plush going on your skin. I hope that's a good description of it, but it is right there and it is just a very pretty one. This one does have they have neutrals and they have warms and then they go from the light ones to the darker ones. So that's really nice. The other thing that is always nice about L'Oreal is they do have on the opposite side, they do have a little mirror that goes in there. The now, next one is from Maybelline. It is their Fit Me Blush. This one is in number 45 and it is the Plum. Now again, this one, I would say it's about along the lines of the one I just showed you from BH Cosmetics. Little bit stiffer of a formula, not super creamy. This one is a really light blush. And I have noticed with many of these from Maybelline in this formula, they are really light. I like this color and I like the little wash that it gives me. It is a really nice color when I'm wanting to wear lavender on my eyes. This one just seems to blend into the skin and not give a stark contrast between my cheeks and my eyes when I am wearing purples or lavenders. That one is one that I'm not crazy about the formula on, but I do like the color on it. So I look at that. This one, I also like the color on probably more than the formula. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush. I'm sure that you guys have all seen and tried the bronzer. This is really very much along the lines of that, although it is a little bit more on the powdery side than the bronzer is. Again, I do like this color for certain looks that I am looking to achieve. It's really pretty, kind of a very, very soft lilac pink. And again, we do have a mirror on this side, which is a little bit too small for anything. But if you like their butter bronzer, it's very much along the same lines, except for it might be just a tiny bit a tiny bit more powdery, I would say on that one. Does still give you the coconutty smell like the butter bronzer does. Speaking of powdery, this one is from Ulta. This is their Sweet Pea Mineral Blush. I do like this for the color. The color is gorgeous. This is along the lines of like a semi sheen. So you're not gonna get a high sheen from this. You're gonna get just a little bit of one. But what I like about this one is the color is gorgeous. The color is just beautiful on my fair fair skin now they do have a ton of colors but you can see the little bit of sheen that it has in there however you guys this one is probably the stiffest formula of any of them that i have here so if you're looking for a, a blush that is really soft and that you don't have to work for or anything like that this one might not be for you I personally like it because I like the finish. It doesn't seem to show any texture or anything, but I know that it is a little bit stiffer again of a formula. So that, you know, it depends on what you like there. The CoverGirl Cheekers, everybody knows this one. This one is called Deep Plum. I don't know why it's called Deep Plum because to me that is not a deep color. <laughs> again, this one is in matte. This was probably my least favorite formula of all of them that I tried. It's okay, but even as I'm, I'm swatching it right here, there's hardly any pigment coming out of there. I feel like I'm having to dig in the pan to really get anything up. And it's quite patchy when I'm even, you know, putting it across my hand there. So probably this one would be my least favorite of any that I'm showing you today. I just, maybe it's because I had these all while I was growing up. Maybe I outgrew them, I don't know. But as I look at all these other blushes and how fantastic their formula is and how blendable there is, this one just kind of fell short for me. And in this whole gamut here, I really didn't have a lot of cream products. Um, I'm not a huge cream blush, blush fan because I have a hard time with those sometimes. But I do love the Super Shock formula from ColourPop. It is just, it is so nice, you guys. This one is called Between the Sheets and you can see that I've hit pan down there. 
for me, this formula is one of those ones that it's just easy. It's super easy. Now this again is a matte formula. Okay, so it's right there on my hand, you guys. It is such an easy formula, so pretty, and I love this color. I love the formula of it, and I do love the colors. This is definitely a cream to powder product, meaning that you get it on, you get it on your cheeks, it's gonna stay there, but it's, it's not gonna look oily or greasy or anything like that, very matte to it love 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 this color and love the formula of that my last one is the milani baked blushes this one consists of three colors i have of theirs there is let's see let's start with petal primavera it's number 14 and it is right there and actually this one is probably my favorite color this is a bit of a stiffer formula in itself too it's just one of those ones that you know even though it is just an absolutely gorgeous blush with a bit of a sheen to it it is a little bit stiffer of a formula but i find that it's really easy to work with that doesn't bother me at all this one is number 15 this one is sunset passion this one is a little bit deeper on the deeper skin tone so pretty again though any of these can be washed out or they can be built up to give you a lot more color and again the sheen on those is so gorgeous and then my last one is berry amour and i really like this one as well this one is um, quite a bit more on the peach side i do like all of these very much but i think that petal primavera is my favorite one and it's probably just because it's a bit lighter than these others i do like this formula again same thing you get the little tiny mirror underneath and it did have a brush in there but i've long since lost that i used to have dolce pink in this and i used to have luminoso this formula is probably one of my very favorite formulas for blushes but if you're wanting something that doesn't that is just matte don't reach for that one because you'll be disappointed because it is pretty high sheen a very pretty wash of color now what i'm wearing on my cheeks today is the profusion blush palette i just think it, that it is so pretty and it just really has those gorgeous colors that come together on just about any look you're looking for so if i was to break this down and i was to say what was my very very favorite i would have a hard time <laughs> okay what was my very favorite one i really like the profusion one I love my Juvia's Place one, but I really was impressed at this for the price. And then my second one would be the ColourPop Super Shock one because I just love the way that this one goes on. And it can either be, you know, very sheer or it can be built up. But yeah, I do love both of those. And then my least favorite of all of these would have to be the CoverGirl the Maybelline Fit Me, and then the e.l.f. also. But the e.l.f. wasn't a terribly bad formula. I just can't find the right colors. These colors are just way too much for me. So yeah, that was really the only reason on that. So yeah, those are my three bottom, and then you saw my two top picks too. Oh, before I go, I do wanna tell you that I did try a Wet n Wild blush way too much shimmer it was the ombre ones and then i did try another one from them again way too much glitter in that one and an la girl formula too but it, there was tons of glitter in that one so i did try those other ones i just want to let you know fyi fyi on that one that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys do enjoy these kinds of videos that I've been bringing you. This one is all about blush at the drugstore. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day wherever it hits you, whether it's the week or the weekend. And I hope you're all in really good health. I love you all so very much. Thank you for watching, giving me a part of your day. And I'll see you all in my very next video. Love you. Bye.